What's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. I uh, wanted to uh, do a post-game talk well after the post-game. So I was going to do it today uh, for, all the, for all the DT guys, uh, the hot boys in particular, but I'm sure this message will resonate and apply to all the DT family. I hope it does. Uh, so we just got back home from the Sacramento tournament today. It's uh, What is today? Today is Sunday, the 26th, 26th. Um, so all in all, we stopped in Davis, where I went to, went to college at, uh, my old stopping grounds where I played football. Uh, I'll get into that a little bit in a minute, in a minute as well. Um, and all in all, it was about a 13-hour trip. We left here at 6.30 a.m. We got back here about 7.45 uh, in my driveway, so about 13 hours in total. And so I didn't want you guys to be out there any longer than you had to. It was wet, it was rainy. So I had some thoughts, but chose to to not speak. And then as I was driving, I said, I'll just do a quick message uh, via video and they can watch it on their, on their own. So um, I love being Coach Bobby. I love being around and inspiring people of all ages, but especially young people, and especially young men. I love to be a, around young men and watching them grow and learn and compete and, and figure out who they are and, and figure out what they can do and what they can be. That gives me great joy. Um, as a 50-year-old, I turned 50 last year, I still see the youth in me in all of you. So I want all of you whether you are hot boys and you know going into your senior year in high school or you're just a young pup growing and learning, I want all of you to become whatever you want to become. I want all of you to grow into whatever the seed is that God put into you. I want that for you so very much. Not just my son, Amari, but everyone that, that plays for DT. Uh, I want that for you. But today, my message is to all of you. And I wasn't emotional, so I wasn't going to give a, a emboldened, passionate, yelling speech anyway. But it kind of it, it hit me hard after the game. And what I want for all of you, this is my message. I want, I want all of you to find something about which you have so much passion and care for that it eats you up. And, and, and maybe it's not football, right? Maybe it's, it's something else eventually. But I want for all of you to find something about which you care so much that when you're in the moment, when you're at work and you are, you are in the moment of, of rehearsing and practicing and, and engulfed in that vision, in that dream, in that thing you care so much about that it almost, you lose yourself in it. It consumes you. I want that for you. And what I witness when I watch, you know, and part of it is the seven on seven culture. I get it. Everyone in the culture of seven on seven has this. You know, there's teams that we play, I won't name them, that that's their whole brand is everything but football, everything but competition, everything but being the best version of you as a football player, as a young man. It's everything but that. Now, there are some programs and teams that embody that. that that's who they are. I don't want that for us. I don't want that for you. I want you guys to care so much about who you are as a football player, about who you are as a young man, about what your brand is as a human, that it consumes you while you're at work, while you're in the moment. Now, I was driving and I did some math, right? So we played five games today. Three pool play, two playoff games. That's five games. Each game was about a half hour, I think. So we played for two and a half hours, right? So two and a half hours out of a 13-hour day was in games, right? And of that... Of that two and a half hours, only about half the time, right, for most of you, were you playing? 
So you're offense or defense. So half, half the time you're on offense or defense. So now we're cutting that in half. So now you played the sport that you are competing at, that many of you say to me and to coaches that you want to be at the highest level of for an hour and 15 minutes out of a 13 hour work day. And yet, if you are honest with yourself, you didn't care enough about who you were in the moment or care enough about what you were doing in the moment for that hour and 15 minutes. And if you did, it certainly wasn't evident to someone who, observe, who, was, who was observing it. And I would argue that, that if you are serious and really care about your, your gift or your skill or your talent or your sport or your work, that it's evident. When I speak, which is what I care about, it's evident I care about it. When I coach, which I love and, and, and have passion about, it's evident that I care about it. When I'm working in finance or I'm working as a speaker or I'm working as a fitness coach, it's evident that I care about it. And if I'm being honest, guys, the only reason I was able to play football at a high level, given that I was not as athletic as any of you, not as tall, not as fast, not as quick, is because I cared about it. I cared every moment of every time I was working on football, I cared about it. That's why I played at UC Davis. That's the only reason. And so I want you guys, again, I get it. I know how it is. You're around your peers. It's fun. Other teams are, are that's their brand. So you get caught up in it. I get it. But I want you guys to care so much about who you are and what you're doing and where you're going that none of that impacts you. None of that changes who you are. None of that changes how you work at your craft for that hour and 15 minutes out of 13 hours in total. I want you guys to care that much because the world is built upon people who have deep, deep, deep care, not apathy, not apathy, deep passion and care for what they're doing. Everything you enjoy, all the musicians you love, like Drake, all the sports heroes you follow, like Steph Curry or George Kittle, right? All the musicians, all the artists, all the people who build the things around us, like, like iPhones and Teslas, they got there because they give a damn about what they do. They care about who they are when they're at work, in their craft, right? So I would argue that the whole world of greatness is left for only those people who care. And again, I'm not saying that you have to do that. I'm not saying you have to give a crap about being great at anything, let alone football. But I want that for you because I want you to be somebody who's running things, who's leading the charge, who's running companies, who's getting scholarships, who's making the big, big money. I want that for you. But you can't have that unless what you're going to and what you're going through, you give a damn about it. Right? You care about it. Right? And so I want you guys to really, really think about that. About are you being the best version of you when you are doing what you're doing? And, and for me, you know, there's not very many things in this world that I approach in a way other than when I walk away, you're going to get the best version of me. I'm going to care if not about the thing I'm doing, I'm going to care about what you think about me in terms of what I'm doing. I never wanted to be the best fitness trainer in the world, but when I'm training people, I want you to know I care about it. I know I have flaws in my motivation to speak. I grew up with a stutter. But when I speak to people, you never, ever, ever assume I don't give a damn about it. I don't care about it. You know I care about what I'm talking about. I might talk fast. I might stutter. But you know I care about it. 
right? And I want you guys to want that. I want you to reach for greatness. I want you to strive for the mountaintop. I want you, I don't want you to be average, right? And I want you guys to understand this, right? Why would you want something that didn't require the best of you? Right, I want you to give the best of you in your endeavors. And I'm asking you, why would you want something in life that doesn't require the best of you? That's why when you get to the mountaintop, it feels so good because it took all of you to get it. Right, when you beat teams in these great tournaments and because you, you focus and you are in the moment, it feels good because it took all of you to get it. So I want you guys to really, again, I get it. I know you have friends. I know you have colleagues and buddies. But I want you guys to understand, when I'm at work, right, when I'm, when I'm playing corner and we have cloud or we have hold or I'm a receiver and it's third and, and, and long, I'm, this is the moment that I need to be the best version of me. I need to care about who I am in this moment. There's always time to celebrate. All the great ones celebrate. Drake celebrates, but after he works. Kobe celebrates, but after he worked. The great ones celebrate and have fun, but after they do what they know they need to do to be the best at what they do. And I want you guys to, to, to build that trait inside of you and fortify that seed of greatness inside of you and learn the habits of greatness. And the habit is really only one habit. I'm going to be the best version of me in this moment. Whether I'm working on a keyboard, whether I'm working out, whether I'm speaking, I'm going to be the best version of me because I care about who I am in the moment. And so I want you guys to just begin to think about that going forward. Right? Not just in football tournaments, but in whatever you do. If your whole life is built around things where you can play and not focus, you will not get to where you should be getting in your life. What you'll be doing is working for somebody who had the audacity to give a damn about what he or she was doing in the moments and not playing all the time. All right. So I want you guys to, 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 to really let that sit and resonate. And I believe all of you can be wherever you want in life. Hell, if I can go to UC Davis and play football and then go to Santa Clara and get a master's degree and then, and, and then become a chief financial officer and then build a fitness business and then be 50 years old and still in shape. If I can do that, anybody can do anything they want, but you got to be focused and you got to give a damn about being great. They ain't passing out greatness certificates for to anybody. You have to show up and show the universe and show God that you give a damn about being the best version of you. And you don't show up by talk. You don't show up by being pompous. You don't show up by being bombastic and talking crazy. You show it by caring about what you do and about caring about who you are in what you do. All right, guys. So that's my message. I hope it resonates. Uh, I will see you guys at the next tournament. Love you guys. Keep working. Keep pushing. And keep becoming the best version of you every single day. Right? Make tomorrow better than today. Live today better than yesterday. Every day be better than you were yesterday. All right, guys. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.